Major credit card companies are gearing up to equip California firearms retailers with a merchant code to track gun and ammo purchases. The move comes following a new law allowing banks to keep tabs on what lawmakers call suspicious transactions. Merchant codes are nothing new. They're four-digit numbers used by credit card companies to classify purchases from retailers and businesses. For example, on Valentine's Day, if you purchase flowers from a floral shop or nursery using a Visa or MasterCard credit card, the merchant code would pop up as 0780 under landscaping and horticultural services. Or if your dog or cat gets sick and you have to take them to the vet, if you use your credit card for the purchase, the transaction would be categorized under Merchant Code 0742 for veterinary services. Merchant codes are a way to gather information about customer purchasing behavior. Gun control advocates with Guns Down America say banks and credit card companies have an opportunity to stop gun violence before it happens. According to the activist group, credit cards have been used to finance dozens of gun crimes, including the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. The gunman who killed 49 people used credit cards to purchase more than $20,000 worth of guns and ammunition nearly two weeks before the shooting in June of 2016. The group says law enforcement officials would have deemed this activity suspicious and might have had the opportunity to intervene to prevent the mass shooting had the purchases been tracked. Merchant category codes can be used to create what are called detection scenarios. Uh, the detection scenarios say, hey, something's not right here. Take a deeper look. See if there's a problem, and if so, report it out to the law enforcement. Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express first plan to provide the tracking codes nationwide in September 2022. In March 2023, they paused their efforts after pushback from Second Amendment groups. Now, at least seven Republican-controlled state legislatures have banned a merchant code for gun retailers, Several others, though, are considering implementing similar legislation. A spokesperson for the National Rifle Association said creating a merchant code for gun shops is not about tracking or prevention or any virtuous motivation. It's about creating a national registry of gun owners. Other gun rights supporters expressed they were worried banks could use the purchase information to block other legal purchases. Now, nearly a year later, they're on schedule to have tracking codes ready when California's new law takes effect May 1st of 2025.